Listen, we're on, bitch. That's an actual Captain America's uh, shield? shield, yeah. And how's that? How's made that out made? of metal. Get the this, fuck out this of here. This is here. actual, yeah, this is actually made out of metal. Dude, if you go buy this at a store or like um, a hobby shop or everything. He made that? No, like the they sell it. Where? They have, they have a limited amount of it. Where? And this thing's like 500 bucks. Where? Now. I don't know where now, but he got this from Hasbro. That is fantastic. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, two of them. He gave one up. I don't even remember what number this podcast is. Uh, I don't know. Let's it doesn't just... matter. I'll just put it on the screen later. <laughs> you can find out. <laughs> he also hooked me up with um, uh, one of the uh, the Titans from the Transformers. Yeah. So Case is talking about like he's uh, a man child. I'm a man child because I, I like He's just become a man child again. And he likes, you know, Transformers stuff. And uh, talk on the mic, Case. What can you say? I'm a geek. You are. You're, you're a young boy. How say something. Let me see if I... Uh, is it still? Yeah, it sounds good. No, because it catches the sound right here. Like right there. Like right here? Yeah, like right there. So if I touch it that, right here. Keep that sucker right on your face, all right? Is that how you like it? Yeah, you rub it nicely <laughs> and slowly. So now you you were saying about the the Hasbro toys. I don't know. He just hooked me up with the Hasbro toys. Of um, I forgot which one it was. I can't even think at the moment. But is it? It's a you know one of the Titans, pretty big. I think it costs like a couple hundred bucks if you buy it at the store. Jesus. Yeah. And how much was it? Like if you get it from him. I got. He just he just gave it to me for free. No shit. He gets it for free. He gets it for free? Yeah, because he works for the company. No fucking so shit. So I guess sometimes, like, he'll, like, I know, like, he'll come home who, every day. Who, who is that? It's my friend, Kay. Dude, the tell one Kay from... I like toys, too. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own little collection built up there. It's kind of cool. You know, it's, it's one of the perks of working there. Oh, and, like, the Marvel movies, he gets to go watch them, too, for free. Get like, out of town. Like, at least probably a week or two before they come out. Dude, that's the fantastic. Theaters. Yeah, so it's a nice perk. He works in... I don't know. What was it? Graphic design. That's what he does. Yeah. So he works for the toy company making toys? Yeah. Like he drawing the toys? Like, you know those designs, those artwork on the toys cover? Yeah, on yeah. On, like, the, the, the plastic covers or yeah. the boxing of it? Yeah. Yeah, he helped design those. Or, like, any other thing, like... Um, that is fucking dope. Like a billboard or a mural at a convention. You see, like, booth with, like, you know, graphic, like, pictures and stuff. He mm -hmm. helped design those. So yeah, you know, it's a pretty cool job, I guess. I want to do that. It's a nice work. See that, Kalia? Yeah. We should st we should uh, do toys, like design toys and stuff, like Good. graphic designs and shit. Start buying blank comics. You're gonna write your own comics? Yeah, blank comic books, so I can just draw on the covers. It's pretty dope. Oh, that's fun. So what have you been up to, Case? How's how's the life? Nothing. Been up to nothing. Just work. Just work, work. Yep. Two jobs as always. Yep. Working closer. Case now gets to work from home because he works close. Sometimes I work from home. It's all right. So, like sometimes, but sometimes still you get right. to. It's okay. It's all right. I don't want to talk about work though. No, I know. <laughs> what about you? Growing up, what, what kind of toys did you grow up with? Oh, there's a thing on Netflix. Called the toys that made us. Yeah, I've seen every single one. Did you really? Dude, that He Man toy, I had them all. <laughs> I had them all, Did and you? I had them all in Brazil. In Brazil. Yes. Yeah. And uh, my favorite one used to be the, the 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 guy who like runs and and hits things with his head and. Do you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was, yeah. Like, he was almost then, like a juggernaut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there was one of them that if you twisted his head, like at the thing, his his face would change. Oh, yeah? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was I one of the He-Man toys. I vaguely remember. Yeah. I vaguely remember those. But, of course, I had He-Man. I had she -Ha too, though. Yeah, okay. She I had her as well. She yeah, yeah She-Ha was they, cool. Yeah, they were all cool. And they were, like, super articulated. They were very cool. Like, well, they, you could move their arms and stuff like yeah. that. They weren't just, like, static. And um, I also grew up with the Zodiac Warriors. It was an anime from the that. 1980s. The Zodiac Warriors look like this. I'll show you. 
Zodiac. These guys. That was oh, okay. it was huge in Brazil. Yeah. And then the toys were made by Bandai and they they had the armor and if they were authentic, the armor was metal. Oh really? But if they were cheap knockoffs, which were still good, yeah. by the way, like they were totally fine to play with. The the armor was uh, made of plastic. Yeah. But it's still like you could take the armor from one guy and put it on another guy. It was great. Yeah. But the ones from Bandai, they were like made in Japan. Mm hmm they were just too expensive, you know? Yeah. So we would, like, see whichever one of us had the real one that their parents went to the store and actually bought a real one instead of the fucking knockoffs from, from China and shit, <laughs> you know? And they were, they were great, man. Like, I'll show you the Zodiac Warriors toys. Like, you see? And, like, you could take their... the the armor and put it on the, the little stand and that little stand would become the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got it. It was really awesome. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they were fucking, they were like really great. <laughs> like, um, it was a really great cartoon. Uh, anime. Oh, I... What was, the, what was the, the toys that you grew up with as a kid? Like, what was like your favorite stuff? Oh, dude, I had a like I had a handful of Transformers toys. Like we were talking earlier, um, I had oh I had a bunch of GI Joes as well. Oh, I had tons I of GI Joes. Joes. Um, they were so like really nicely articulated, which yeah, was really they were cool. that they was my favorite lot. stuff. The ones that like dude, you like, could move their, their arms, their arms, their yeah. neck, their they like they pivot their, they, their pelvis. Yep, yep. They have their ankles. They're, they would like, bend their knees and their yeah, foot. You can like these. These were really articulated. These toys right here, because yeah. their hands would do this too. Because mm -hmm. they were pretty big. They were about that big. Yeah. They were, the the Joes are tiny. They were like this big. G yeah, the Joes were tiny, but they were just. They were cool. They were, they were cool. freaking I cool. A, I had a bunch of them. They were awesome. They were fun to play with. Yeah, um, I remember I had Ninja Turtles as well. I and the Ninja had, Turtles were kind of articulated as yeah, well. Yeah, and then we would semi. make whole up stories. No, because like, there was there was a bunch of different ones. There were ones that were kind of like just solid, like arms and legs and they would, they only move certain ways and then i remember there was another one that came out that was really more articulate and i wanted to get those but my parents were like nah you already got one i only had michelangelo that's all i had really i know i well i i only had Raphael. <laughs> i had Raphael, and then my cousin had leonardo leonardo, leonardo yeah was cool and then we would literally set up, and he had tons of legos and all that stuff so we would build houses <laughs> And like, and we weren't Ninja Turtles. We were like, they wouldn't be just Ninja Turtles. They would be like um, the, the, you know, the, the badasses of the town. Cause he had a bunch of those little green men. And then <laughs> the that was the town. And then we were like Literally. the badasses of the town. And <laughs> then you had ass. the villains, you know, other toys or whatever that he had. Yeah. And then we would just fight and do like these big fights. And we would talk about how the fight was going. And it was like, that's you know what like, I mean? Like when you're a and kid, that's you in had, between playing video games. So yeah, you had like, all that imagination just, uh, yeah. just to play. Like, uh, like you're making a whole story up yeah. based he, on these toys. that had, he had um, its own character. He had a turbo game. Turbo game? What do you mean turbo game? Turbo game was a uh, Japanese Nintendo-style kind of knockoff. It was this one right here. Turbo Graphics 16? I think so. Yeah, there was a Turbo Graphics 16. This motherfucker right here. What is that? That's it. Right there. This guy. Turbo game? Yep. What the hell is that? That was a video game from back in the 90s, man. I don't remember that. That was a 90s game. I don't remember that. And it had like four buttons and, you know, the control. And it was a, it was a great game. It was just a weird controller look. Yeah, it's like, like it was inversed. It was like an upside down. Yeah, and you know what like we used Genesis to play on controller. it? Battletoads, motherfucker. Really? Because Battletoads was a Nintendo game. Yeah, we played Battletoads. I told you it was like a Nintendo knockoff from <laughs> no from, J from Japan or China or something. Oh, but you played this in Brazil, right? E or the United States? In Brazil, in Brazil. Oh, okay. So yeah. why? This I think I like, think I think the the history of it is um, in Brazil. 
any video game electronics could not be imported into Brazil in the 90s. It was a weird law. Yeah. So the Turbo game was, um, was actually built in Brazil under Nintendo, but uh, with, w- without okay. the Nintendo brand. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Because okay. it was a weird law. Yeah. So that's why they had, you know, the turbo game in, in Brazil and not and not Nintendo. Well, it was like China. Because it was a weird law. I see? It's funny. Cause in China, Look at that. See, it's even in Portuguese. Look, video game de alta resolução, which is a high resolution game. video game or yeah. whatever. And we used to play Battletoads. And to this day, I don't, I'm, I, I was thinking of the other day, downloading Battletoads on the on the computer because you could probably find it fucking free or on Steam or something and just play it. Battletoads was the shit. Battletoads was hard. Battletoads was hard, especially it that stage where you had to ever. jump you had to memorize with the motorcycle. Things. You had to memorize if that shit. If you can't shit. memorize, if you have a bad oh, you're memory, fucked. you're screwed. You're never going to beat the game. And you know what's fucked up? In this video game, you couldn't save. No, there was no save. There was no save. But it probably took you like 45 minutes, not even, like maybe half an hour to beat the game. To beat the whole game. Yeah. But you had a certain amount of lives. <laughs> yeah. And if you didn't beat, you're fucked. You, you start you would over. You start over. You start way at the beginning. You don't start on that No, level. no. You start at the beginning. Yeah, at like the start of the game. The start <laughs> menu. Fuck. That game was hard. Dude, Battletoads was the best. They had Battletoads and Double Dragons. Remember that one? Yes. Take the team up together. That was pretty cool. They had like, how many Battletoads did they have? I think... There was Battletoads, Battletoads 2. Was there a Battletoads 2? Was there Battletoads 2? I think so. I want to say so. Battletoads Wikipedia. So we go up here. Battletoads. Disambiguation? What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, it was June 1991 when it came out. Really? Yep. And then Battletoads Arcade came out in 1994. For the NES. And Turbo Game in Brazil. So, this is the craziest thing. So, my cousin had a Turbo Game, which was like a copy of the first uh, Nintendo, right? But then, my other cousin, because we were poor as shit, but my cousins, their, their dads was like, I'll buy video games. So, he bought my other cousin the Nintendo 32, I think. Was it 32? The one that had Super Mario, the one that had... No, that's Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, so he got a Super Nintendo. And uh, I remember we would, like, slumber party at my cousin's house just to play. And we would play all the fucking night, man. I didn't get a Nintendo until, I think, 1992. 1992? Like yeah, I think my cousin got it in a... Look at this PlayStation when the controller. When Nintendo came out, that's when beautiful. I got the Nintendo. It's beautiful. Look at that PlayStation controller. Super Nintendo, nice. I'm saving that to put on the podcast. <laughs> You're saving that to put on your Amazon <laughs> list. <laughs> yeah. How do you know, dude? <laughs> Look he, at that. That's what he had. You That's what he had. Me. The Super Nintendo, motherfucker. There was fuck. No. Or, yep. And we and then eventually, I remember when he got this one. He got this one right here. We were we would play um, Super Famicom, Donkey Kong. We played Donkey Kong forever. Look, they have the little one you can buy now. Yeah. I was thinking of buying it for my collection right here. Really? Because uh, already I have the PS3 and I have the PS2. Oh, I'm going to buy the a PS2. PS2. Yeah. And I'm buying a PS1. Can I borrow uh, your PS2? You want to borrow my PS2? So I can play my PS2 games that I have at home. You have PS2 I games at home? I have. Final Fantasy XI that I never finished. No fucking way. And I want to finish that game. Yeah, the yeah. Thing you is, can borrow it. My first PS... I had the fat PlayStation 3 also, and I used to play my PS2 games on my it. My PlayStation 3 plays PS2 games. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, but mine's crapped out and it died. Oh. So I still have my PS2 games. I just get nothing... I don't have anything I can play with. A PS3 right now is really cheap. You, it's, dude, it's hard to find the fat one like that. The, the one that's one, backwards one that's compatible? Backwards, yeah. Those are hard to find, and even so, it'll probably cost. That one even has blocks. the card, the card readers on it. That's what, yeah, I had the original one. It had all yeah. the card readers. It had the four USB slots in the front. I got that one from a client. There was a ton of stickers on it. I had to clean it off. Yeah, it doesn't look great, but it's it works. 
Yeah, because I got the PS2 games and I got nothing to play it with, and I was no shit. Like, it's just there collecting dust. So I'm on a video game collection now. Really? Yeah. You're collecting video games. I want to collect the consoles themselves. Oh, the consoles. Yeah, not just the. I don't care about the games too much because I don't think people are even gonna play that stuff. Like, if you you can, I want working models, but I'm thinking like I want I want to have like as many as possible of like the stuff from my childhood oh really yeah because i never got one <laughs> the first one i ever got was a ps uh was a ps1 here in america yeah the first one and that was in 1999 i remember and okay. then i remember that my dad bought my sisters a nintendo 64 in 2000 okay yep. and that was dope because i could play resident evil 2 which is my favorite game of all time I have most of all... They're doing a remake. You know that, right? Oh, dude, I can't wait for it to come out. Are you kidding me? It's going to be on the PS4 Pro at 4K. Yeah. It's going to be great. It'll be dope as fuck. What do you think? I remember I played it so much that eventually we found out. And back then, there was no internet. because So this is how it used to work. There was this, uh, what they called the LAN house. Hey, do, you know, do you know what a LAN house is? Nope. So a land house is like a place where you go and you pay by hour to play. Oh, okay. And this guy had two PS1s when I was a kid. I was like, what, 12, 13? So he had, no, wait, I was 12, yeah. So was, what, what was it, like 1997? He had two PS1s and he had two Nintendos. And then you would go and you would pay, I think it was a... a one reel per hour and you would pay and you get to play for an hour mm -hmm. and then you would get a save on one of his memory cards and then every time you went in you would you know pay and you get to play for that another hour and the funny thing is i didn't speak any english so we were, and my favorite game that he had was resident evil the first one and it was terrifying i mean yeah. you think you're 12 years old everybody would sit around and fill up the land house right and he had snacks and stuff but it's not like i had money to buy the snacks i'd bring and i had a little black dog i know it sounds crazy i had a dachshund and he would like i would sit and he would lay on my lap and i would play for my hour i would reserve my hour okay so three o'clock i'm gonna be here I'd give him the money, and at 3 o'clock, I'd go and play for my hour. And I got friends with the guy, so he would let me play for free sometimes. It was the shit. Because I didn't have a van. Brazil's different than America. You know, like, you can... It's easier to obtain things for, like, mm -hmm. for your kids. Like, if you want it, you can buy it for your kids. In Brazil, it's like, you know, a PlayStation back then, which is what I wanted as a 12, 13-year-old, was, like, far removed from what my mom could give me. You know, because she's like, you need fucking shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you going to wear that fucking video game? <laughs> you buy the, nece the necessities. Yeah. So it was, it was different. You know, when I came to the West and my dad, you know, started getting the stuff. And I remember I bought my first PlayStation. Yeah. With, uh, cause we used to, at 14 years old, I used to, uh, go with my mom on the weekends and this guy that had a van to clean showcase cinema in Lowell. Okay. Really? On the weekends. No way. At night. <laughs> all night. I was 14. They didn't yeah. give a fuck back then. And then uh, uh, my task was to rip up gum and mop all the floors. Remember how they were? You know, they, yeah. they didn't have those yeah, chairs. Yeah, stadium style and then seating. They were like kind of, the floor was kind of like this, this yeah. tile. And then it, I would be the guy who would like go under, clean it up, and then mop the floors. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Because I did that job, I have never, ever laughed my popcorn or my food or my trash in between the aisles, ever. Yeah. I don't put gum on the seats. I fucking know that some poor asshole has to, now of course not a 14-year-old anymore, but some poor dumb kid has to go and clean that up mm -hmm. to make a buck. Somebody and I remember they up. paid me, I think it was $45 a night. Yeah. So you would think I would go Friday night and Saturday night. That's a little kid making, you know, 90 bucks on the weekend. And that's four times, I mean, that I was 14. And I would give, I think I'd give some to my mom and then the rest she let me keep. That was pretty awesome. That's how I bought my PlayStation. Yeah. With that money.
Because you worked. Because I worked. I've been working since I was little. Just before I came to, uh, to the U.S., I had a job at this painting place. And the son of a bitch was supposed to pay me 45 bucks a month. 45 bucks a month. That wasn't even dollars either. It was in reels. But the, back then, the reel was worth the same amount as the dollar at the time. So like for one dollar, one reel. Now the dollar's like for one dollar is four reels. So the dollar's a little bit stronger. Not much, much stronger, but st stronger mm -hmm. now. And he was to pay me forty. He was supposed to pay me forty-five bucks. And then I worked a whole month. And my job was to clean the brushes because he did those big signs, you know, for like stores and stuff like that. That's what he did. That's what the job that he did. And uh, I remember I like had to clean up. What's up, Patrick? How much? Patrick is here. Uh, we're talking about toys and what we did when we were kids. Patrick. Yeah, now <laughs> he cut his <laughs> head. You see? I know. Yeah. I didn't yeah. recognize him when he was when he first walked in. I was like, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> yeah. So he didn't pay me at the end of the month. I yelled at him. I was 14. I yelled at him. I remember we were like for 13. Yeah, because you're a kid. You probably thought it was okay to rip you off, and you wouldn't know the difference. And no, I fuck. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I quit. I quit the oh, day yeah. he said he wasn't going to pay me. He used you. And I was like, you son of a bitch. He got his work done without having to spend any money. You know what I was doing all day? Cleaning brushes. <laughs> They're like, oh, he Tiago's him, yeah. this kid who knows how to draw. It's going to be really good for him to come work for us and help us, you know, to do the signs and do the painting. No, he had two of the fucking guys doing the painting and my fucking ass cleaning the brushes and cleaning the shop all day yeah. after school. Totally That's what I did for like three or four hours every day <laughs> for a whole month. And then he didn't pay me. And then eventually I remember he called me back there and he gave me 20 bucks. That was half of what he was supposed to give me. Probably felt bad and he was like, yeah, I'm just Piece of 20 shit. bucks. You know what I did with 20 bucks? I bought everybody hot dogs in my house. <laughs> that, that's all I did with it. That's whatever. People rip you off. It happens. Well, it's you, I mean, life. an older guy, obviously, taking advantage of a little kid. Knew he, and he knew he could get away yeah, with it. That's and Brazil. He he's a piece of shit. Well, he had a fucking extra hand, extra too. help. It's not just Brazil. It's like just people are just oh, shitty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Fuck people yeah. are just shitty in general. Yeah. Who does that? I remember, like, when I first <coughs> came back to the U.S., uh, I was working for this guy who was, like, super fucking religious. Like... As religious as it gets. And the son of a bitch was like, he, I worked with him three weeks and he wanted to pay me only one week. And I'm like, what the fuck, what? man? Why? Because he's a piece of shit. That's why. He's a fucking asshole. He, he wanted cheap. to like, cut. he's like, well, you know, I haven't got paid for these jobs. So, and like, I thought I would get paid at the end of the week, right? For yeah. my work. So sometimes one week stays in the bank, right? And then you get paid the next week over. And then, do you know what I'm saying? A lot of jobs are like that. Yeah, these construction jobs or whatever. So, you know, like this, right? You work, I work from Monday to Friday, but I don't get paid Friday. I get paid the next Friday. Oh, yeah. You don't do you know paid, what I'm saying? Yeah. You get paid the next so you, Friday so over. Like you, so you yeah. always have so a week getting, in the bank. Yeah, you're getting paid for last week's work. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, no, at the end, he's like, I'm only going to pay you one week because, you know, the first two weeks, I was kind of slow. And also, but, but I was work. working it. But you no, still work. Yeah. Oh, dude, I worked 40 hours. I don't think it was slow or not. I still Son work. of a bitch. And he's like, <laughs> and he left me at one house, one of the houses, power washing a fucking, um, these guys you know entrance all this stuff power washing making it clean as fuck and i finished it i did eight hours of power washing so much so that i had fungus growing on my goddamn toe the next <laughs> the next three weeks like it started to do i don't know i guess because of the water because of what i was doing yeah i had to like really work on my toe yeah all day i had to like do this do this thing with like my you know use like some chemicals on my toe to kill that shit so i wouldn't have fungus in my toe anymore you know when you get 
fungus under your toenail, that shit is really hard to get rid of. And yeah. I was able to get rid of that. I never got that. Son of a bitch. And I then he didn't want to pay me, that cocksucker motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, you Maybe know. He was being cheap. <laughs> yeah. And then one day, I remember the second to last day I was working with him. He, he needed to grab a boat all the way in Maine, two hours away. Yeah. And uh, he was driving me to work and back. So that day he said, hey, Tiago, do you want to come with me to go grab this boat? And I'm like, uh, uh, don't we have to do the job? He was like, no, no, come with me. And I'm like, I'm on the clock, motherfucker. If I'm coming with you to go get a boat, to put it on your truck, to help your ass out, I want to get paid. Did he charge I you just to drive you? He went, <laughs> we went all the way to Maine, two hours up. Yeah. He gets the boat, puts it on his truck, drives back. The day he was supposed to pay me, those four hours, five hours, because we were there for an hour, he's like, you know, that was, you just went with me. That wasn't really work, so I'm not going to pay you for those five hours. <laughs> so he used you again. Why is and I'm like, like, this son of a bitch. And he was like, How you know, you? people like to like, uh, really take advantage of people and blah, blah, blah. and I was like the day I quit I was like dude fuck you <laughs> fuck you pay me bitch and it's like I always heard that Brazilians like to fuck Brazilians in the ass here in this country and it's true I've oh, never he, been fucked over by anybody but Brazilians here Really? my people man my peoples you gotta watch out for them it's fucked up. No, not everybody, of course, but there's a lot of people that like you have to watch out for. Boys, yeah. have a good night. You. Enjoy your night. Kaya, one of these days you have to be on the podcast and talk about the apprentice experience. I was just so behind. I'm still behind. I'm going to do the rest tomorrow. I got to All right. Tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow at 12. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, Those fuck. were some work experiences that I've had. Anyways, we're talking about toys. What else? What do? You, what did you play when you were a kid? It's like uh, video no. game. You know, it was really cool. I had a lion. No, remember lion? No, from Thundercats. Yes, lion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I had lion. No, I had the one where uh, it had this little doohickey in the back, where if you put it in his back, his eye light, his eyes light up. What? Yeah, that was cool. But I lost that though. It was like a little red thingy, and you put on his back, and his eyes lights up. How dope is that? Yeah, man. Dude, I t totally forgot all about him. I was watching um, a YouTube video. It makes me want to buy this kind of stuff. Like, Look at that. Look at that. Dude, it's badass. It's really cool. Yeah, that's the one I had. He was articulated, too. I forgot about that. No, not that one. I had the original one. Oh, shit. It wasn't very articulate, but it Look was... Look at this thing, it dude. Was, um, it's different because it was a huge... It was like, dude, Tiago, it was like that big. It was much bigger than the, the other toys that they were selling at the time. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of weird. Um... But yeah, dude, like if they sell that now, I would totally buy it just to collect it. Right here. They have, look, they have him as a young guy too, like when he was young. Oh, that's the new one. Oh, that's the new one for yeah, the new like cartoon? Yeah, the 2011 one I that came out. I don't like it. Fuck that. I don't like new I shit. like the original one. Look at this stuff, man. He's big. But I, did, I totally forgot that he was, he was a kid in a grown body. He had a, the, his mentality was a kid. He you mean was a from kid. the cartoon? Yeah, from the cartoon. Oh yeah, he was. I totally forgot all about that. You know what? You know what's fucked up? He was like, like with the Thundercats, like cartoon. It always fucked me up that they only have one woman. No, there was two girls. No, I know the young chick. Yeah, the, 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 the young chick. The little baby. The little, yeah, the little girl. Yeah, but she's a little baby. I'm talking like Chitara is the only woman in all of them. Yeah. That's why she's so fast. She's got to keep running. From all, the guys. from all the guys <laughs> you know pantera and his big ass forearm <laughs> trying to grab her and shit and she's just like dun, 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 you play that, that in great. the morning before i before we go to school and you get moon rider creepy that. ass fuck moon who oh moon, moon. um no that's mumra mumra <laughs> yeah mumra <laughs> i was like moon rider mumra oh, was a moon rider <laughs> yo mumra. he was like he was yeah. a mummy but he was shredded he was, fucking, yeah, he was a weak mummy, but he can transform into that shredded just, beast. Yeah, he was just shredded. <laughs> Dude, this toy is insane. I'm going to have to look this up. That's uh, why, like, I'm going back. Like, that's why 
Like I'm buying some transformers just to like to collect them. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look into these. I'll, I'll buy these. Just dude, you should dude, look up. Like there's a the the Gundams, the little Gundams you can uh, buy online on I'm not eBay. Into Gundams though. Really? Yeah. Dude, eBay is the shit. <laughs> like, look at that. They're, they're they're expensive a little bit. How much are they? They're thirty four bucks. How big are the? Uh, they're pretty big. Pretty detailed. Eh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at that, and it's the, like what's what's the sword called? The Eye of Tendera. Tendera. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> thunder, thunder, thundercats! Oh, he's got the the fucking glove. Yeah. The and then I think the sword goes into the glove. If I can it does, remember. Yeah. You I know what? I thought it was funny that whenever he took the glove off, he had like gloves on, but he didn't have gloves on. Can you see it there? What I'm talking about? What do you mean? So like Lion. Lion from Thundercats. Do you see like. Fuck me. Wait up. Do you see? Oh, yeah. He, has he always bad, had like. What a, was that? It's a bad is he? tan. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad tan. That's what I thought. But look at like. It looked like he just shaved too. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. He just like it's like I don't know. It's like the the pattern. Of, yeah, he just had this like five o'clock shadow and shit on his face, you know. But he had it under his, under eyes, his too. eyes. Yeah, it's like he was getting vertigo. Yeah, you know, like that disease that you lose. Uh, yeah, I always thought it was weird. Weird ass cat, fucking. I was. What's the name as, of this cat? From, I don't know. I wasn't always you. into He Man. I wasn't really big into He-Man, but I was big into uh, Thundercats. Yeah, I was, I was huge. I have the sword up there. Yeah, the me metal. I wasn't. I wasn't that much into the GI Joe cartoons. I didn't watch too much of no, those. No, I was. I was. I used to watch. But G. I had Joe. The toys. I played with the toys, but no, I didn't really watch the cartoon. Though. I used to. I used to uh, confuse GI Joe with Captain America a lot when I was a kid. Really? <laughs> I never forgot that I used to confuse it a lot. Why do I Captain say that? Captain America is a because, blue dude who wants because to Because the, the Cobras are very similar to... Captain Planet? No, they're similar to um, to Hydra. But Hydra is... Is from Captain America. They're the yeah. villains from Captain America. Like you see... So, G.I. Joe. So you got Cap you got Captain Planet. You said Captain Planet. Did you, you see mean Captain like, America? No, no. I mean ca so with Captain, Captain America. Planet. I used to confuse G.I. Joe with Captain America. You said Captain Planet earlier. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Did I? You might have to I, I'm listen a, to this. I'm like, yeah. and that's why I'm like, so maybe, confused. And that's why Case is confused. Because if you look but you at see, like, planet. do you know what I'm saying? Like, the guy's got like his face is covered up. The fucking Cobra dudes, you know? Yeah, that's and they, Cobra they, and they And they they use like German guns. See? And you got them mixed up with Hydra because I got Hydra. mixed up with Hydra, <laughs> right? Because Hydra's supposed to be like a fucking snake or something. Like a uh, Hydra's like a. Uh, Many, many heads. Octopus. Is Hydra? No, I don't think so. Well, look at the thing. It's a skull with an octopus arm. Yeah. Oh, Cobra versus Hydra. So they're, they are like a copy of each other, I guess. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Go back up. It's that co right there, the black and white one. This one? No, the black and white one. No, go down. Go down. See that black and white one? Yeah, but that's like a mixture with Hydra yeah, and Cobra. It's a, it's a Cobra. They mix it up. They replaced the skull with the Cobra. Yeah, right? they put Cobra with fucking uh, the Empire from Star Wars. Yeah, so yeah, but G.I. G. Joe toys were the shit. Oh, let's... G.I. Joe... Do you remember the... the they had the little G.I. Joes, but do you remember the big ones? No. That had clothing... Oh, the, oh, those were the original. Those came out. Those were the first G.I. Joe's that came yeah, out. Yeah, but they had those for sale when I was a kid, and I had a couple of them, and they were yeah. all articulated as well. No, I didn't have those. I, For some reason, I hated those because the clothes, it, it didn't really fit them well. <laughs> they looked like they were just wearing baggy clothes. I don't know, you man. Know? So the ones I had were pretty nice. I wasn't into They those. were huge. 
They didn't look cool to me. They look cool to me, man. They were Those cool. were... You put clothes on them and shit. Those were the first G.I. Joes that came out. We would, like, attach a cable on that dude's hand, and then we'd, like, make him slide down. I the did fucking... the same thing. I the pretend best. they had, like, little, little, um... We would put, like, hooks. hooks yep. I put a paper clip. Yep, I yep. pretend it was a yep. hook. <laughs> we blew up, shit up. When, uh... Swinging them around. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you ever use, like, firecrackers for the wars and stuff between them? No. Yeah, Dude, we I played, were, I played inside the house. We blew them up a couple of times. I couldn't do that inside the house. Oh, yeah, we're playing playing outside, man. We're playing outside. Outside, I would play with, um, I never played with them outside, but I always played in the dirt. I like to play in the dirt. Yeah, and then they, lots of mud. And I like, um, I would buy like uh, the radio control cars, just race them around in the dirt. And my dad's like, don't play in the dirt, you're going to get the sand into the, into the car. And it's gonna, you know, mess up the gears inside. So I'd be it's like, not gonna Dad, that's why you got the thing for me, for me to play around. <laughs> you know, he's like, "Don't put it in the dirt." I was like, "Well, but it's cool in the dirt." You You're know? making me want to buy a remote control car. Dude, I bought one. I bought one last year. It's like, fucking huge. You did? Is yeah. it? Is it electric or is it? Um... Yeah, it's electric. I didn't buy a gas one. Let's gas see. one is a little more expensive. But I bought an electric one. How how, how long does the battery last? Dude, it lasts for, I don't know, like a couple hours. Dude, they have remote control boats for sale now. Dude, I was going to buy a boat at Target the other day <gasps> and play it in the Merrimack. Look at that and if thing, I lose it, fuck dude. It. Oh, my God, if Julia ever sees me looking at this stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. I Look at one that, last year. dude. That is freaking amazing. I played, it, I played with it once, and that was it. I live in where there's a lot of grass in, the, in a big space, you know, where yeah. I live. I could probably film this thing with my drone. <laughs> yeah. As it jumps things. Look at this. This is $17, man. How big is it? It's probably tiny. Yeah, it's small. Yeah, dude, look at his hands. Yeah, that's yeah small. it's small. Still, though, like, um, that looks fun. So the one I have, it's like the size, it's like the length Oh, dude, like the one I have is like the size of those, uh, your, your gloves over there, or whatever those are, your sparring gloves. The, yeah. Those are mitts. Sparring mitts. Yeah. Look at this one. It's got like a wheel. You know what I wanted to buy the other day? You know those shoes with, um, with, uh, with wheels, wheels in the end? Like those kids. <laughs> with wheels in the bottom? <laughs> what are they called? I've seen those kids rolling what around in them. I don't know. Skechers? No, they're not. I think not. they were Skechers. Shoes with wheels on yeah, them, Yeah, I think man. they were Skechers. Skechers made them. This is so dope. Look look at all these fucking cars. There's like fifty dollar ones that look legit. Yeah, the one I bought was uh was like How legit is this stuff, man? It was like forty five bucks. You can run on the wall with this one? What the fuck? Dude, these things are incredible. Look at this one case. Doesn't even have a price dude, it's so expensive. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Look at the suspension on that, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just a big kid now, man. Dude, we're all, we're all still kids. Yeah, but we're now just, just, I'm a kid with fucking money. We just, yeah, we're just kids with money. So now you can buy whatever you want if you can, if you can, if you can afford it. Yeah, but you everybody know. can afford a, you know, a $29 little car. Right? Look at that. It's Playing got like a is 18 suspension to and everything. 2.4 gigahertz yeah, remote that's probably control. What it is. It's probably like 20 minutes. I can, I can just roll around with it. You can, you can play with 20 for 20 minutes? The, the battery? The, the car, yeah. It's like one of those rechargeable batteries. Yeah, well, dude, 20 minutes is a long time. Dude, I get bored minutes. really fast. I know. I got bored with that thing real quick. I put it away. I haven't touched it since. Really? It's just sitting there. Oh, man. You know? You should attach a camera to it and film it as it goes into, like, places. Have you seen the, the video of a guy who puts a GoPro on the top of a Hot Wheel? And it goes through, uh, it goes through the, um, the, the Hot Wheel track, and it's going through stuff. But it's freaking cool because, like... The way he sets it up, and like obviously he there there are cut videos that he attached, put all together. 
and it's like seven minutes long he's just going through from like his backyard and there's one part where it looked like he's going through the desert because there's sand everywhere and there's one that's going through water and one going through, like, going through the grass and stuff like that people are so Dude, like it's ingenuity awesome. and shit they just know it's shit. a really good quality like video like just youtube uh hot wheels gopro cam and you'll find that video hot wheels gopro cam yeah try that and you'll find it Dude, it's such a cool video. Whoever made that was like, it's, it's pretty creative. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. How long is the video? I don't know. I know it was kind of long. It's like 14 seconds. No, that, no that that's the that's commercial. The, that's the advertisement. Oh, we can't hear because the sound is coming yeah. from no, this thing. No, but it's just like, he's, not, he's going through all these things. You're like you don't you don't have to hear it because there's really no sound. Just... That is incredible. How did he put a camera on this See? thing? It's so small. It's not a GoPro. It's a different yeah, type of camera. Yeah, it's whatever it is. But it's like you know, it's like putting a GoPro on top of a Hot Wheels, right? Dude, that's incredible. Yeah, it is going through these <laughs> oh tunnels. Oh my god, dude! And see how like it goes through different um, different terrains or different areas. Yeah. But it's obvious that he 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 cut the videos. Yeah, yeah, and he kept but pushing like, them. Yeah, but it's wicked cool. He stitched them together. But that is freaking cool. Right? Yeah. See, he's going through he goes water to underwater. Like that. yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Dude. <laughs> like, whatever he did or doing it. Like I don't know. What the hell? How did he do bottom. that? That is amazing. <laughs> See, like, the effects that he did? Like, it's coming yeah. out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a genius. This guy needs to be making racing movies, dude. <laughs> right? That's pretty cool. Look at that. He jumped. Did you see the jump? You missed it. Wow. That's it. It was a bunch of other Hot Wheels just waiting for it at the end. <laughs> that was a cool video. I love this stuff, man. This stuff is cool. People are clever. That's what happened when, like, uh, so, like, on Thursdays, I work downstairs and sometimes I'm putting toys, and that's all, all. Like this is all I'll see. That's all you see. I see a bunch of toys all the time. I have to pick them up, put them away. But sometimes, I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I think I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. I bought um, you know the Fast and the Furious, the last one. Which one was that? Eight. I think I watched it. Yeah, I watched it on um, on Amazon. It was on HBO or something like that. And uh, one of the characters, Letty, she drove the red Corvette. But it was like an older Corvette. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I bought the little, the little model of it at the store because it's a freaking sweet-ass car. <laughs> you and did? I used, and I used to collect cars, like you model said, cars. They have like the really nice ones. Yeah, I used to collect those. I, bought a whole, I had a whole bunch of them. And I loved them. And I even used, I used to buy those um, little um, kits put them together yourself mm -hmm. I used to do that when I was younger but they don't really sell them that much more they don't sell them in stores anymore but the, the only place you'll find them is like a little hobby shop those those little cars those toy those model cars the ones that you can open the doors and stuff one, like that the one that you put together you know you buy the you buy the kit they're all in pieces like that airplane that I put together well, you know, yeah oh no shit yeah they used to sell them in stores, right? And like there's different levels. One, two, three. I used to buy the one or two because back then, you know, like I there wasn't I was like probably twelve or thirteen. So I can't do the two advanced one where like you have to paint, you have to screw stuff, you have to glue stuff. Oh yeah, it's hard. But I did the one where they, they snapped on and I made a bunch of those. And now they're all gone. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, dude, I always wanted to put a plane together and that's why I got this. So I could put a plane together, and I put it together. Yeah. You know, it's a P-51 Mustang. You put it together. Yeah. And I always wanted to do it. It was like, it's one of those itches that you have to scratch, right? So I went online on Amazon, and I, <laughs> and I bought it. And yeah. They will, I, I didn't paint they it how those. it was supposed to be. I wanted to paint it black with, like, red fucking tip wings and shit, and that's what I did. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have to adhere. <laughs> they have those, like you make the airplanes, you make cars, you make like boats. Yeah, all yeah. All those kits. You can also buy boats now, remote control boats. I know, there was one that at Target when I was dope. looking at it. And I was like, 
I really want to buy this so I can go to the Merrimack. I know. <laughs> I, was just, I was just looking to see when I was looking. I was like, damn it. And I was like, you know what? It's cool because like if it goes too far and like it doesn't receive the signal anymore, I don't mind losing it. Yeah, because it's not that expensive. Yeah, it's like it was like eighteen bucks. Yeah, it was like that big. You know. See you. Bye, Felicia. Leave a note on it. Put it like fun. a bottle in it. It's gonna leave a note on end. it. No. <laughs> put a note on it. Put a note on it, and then put like put little GI Joes inside, and then write you know weird things on the GI Joes like I'm so sorry, Felicia, or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just like lost in the ocean. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Save me, please. Take me home tonight. That's a song. Take me home tonight. I know. It's one of my favorite songs. What the, who sings that? But the Red Sakura version. The what? The Red Sakura version. Red Sakura? What do you mean, Red Sakura? Sakura? Sakura from it's Street Fighter? It's called Red Sakura, I think. No, it's a different... It's a, I'll play it for you later. <laughs> okay. You can hear it. Um... What was I going to say? Don't you hate that? Yeah. It's, you know, they say you're supposed to, like, walk, walk in a room a door. and walk through a door. Walk through it. a door and it'll come back to you. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> Why don't you try it now and see if it works? <laughs> it wasn't important. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're about to say something. It wasn't important. Anyways, brother, we are 46 minutes in. I think uh, oh, we're no good. Way. You look hungry. Yeah, I didn't eat yet. I no? had cake today. What? Cake. That's all I had you today. You had cake? I had cake. Oh, I, I'm jealous. My brother's birthday was a I few weeks had... ago, and it was leftover cake from a few weeks ago. I had to eat it because it, like, it was just A few weeks? That shit goes, what? No. We was it still good? Yeah. We, dude, we put it in the fridge. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. it's cake. It doesn't And really... it's still good, too. I ate, like, two big-ass slices. Was it the dreadful word? What dreadful word? Moist. <laughs> it was still People moist. hate that word for some Why reason. Why do they hate that? I don't know. I, I, I don't mind. I don't give a I don't fuck. mind. I like well, the some word. Some people are I hate it's, that it's, word. That word bothers me. Maybe that is me. a word I like. Moist. Yeah, I like that yeah. word. That word's so What's sexy. What's wrong with it? I think it's because it's, it's a kinky word. It is a kinky word, but how else are you, are you going to describe a cake? Yeah, moist. But then what do you call, you know, Wet. I mean, you call a cake. I describe a cake like I describe my pussy. Well, that I think that's the thing Wet. because, you know, you call moist. Because now, you know, like cake. I like my cake. Oh, I like my Rihanna. pussy, guys. I blame Rihanna. I like it moist. <laughs> I like my cake moist. Yeah. So, Whatever, man. People and I'm will... actually describing an actual cake, not a Listen cake. to me. I'm going to ask my mom to make, because you're talking about cake, it's making me want to ask my mom to make this uh, wet cake. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. It's like the moistest cake no sexual window here, okay? I'm just like... It's the moistest cake. Moistest cake you can ever eat. And she she puts it... So basically, she'll make whatever. And then they 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 put milk on it or something. I don't know, because I don't make the fucking cake. All I know is I eat it, and it was good. And I'm diabetic, and I want to eat it again. Anyway, but uh, she... Um, and then she wraps individual pieces of it in aluminum foil. And then she puts them in the fridge. In the f at first, she puts them in the freezer so they get really cold, and then she puts them in the fridge. And then every time you go eat it, you just grab an individual piece, open it up, shove it in your face. Just don't chew the aluminum foil if you have fillings, you know what I mean? It's not good, but... <laughs> Keep that in mind. Good stuff. Good stuff. It makes me like, hey, Mom. So, my mom makes the best flan, too, by the way. I had some. I remember that. Fucking good. Oh, why do I have to be allergic to sugar? <laughs> yeah, I was hungry. I was gonna get uh, what was it, Popeyes? That's what I wanted to get. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring Joy to Tits or something. Tits? Tavern oh. in the square. Are you gonna? You wanna go? If you go, I'm gonna get the mac and cheese buffalo. Mac and cheese? <laughs> buffalo. Sounds good to me. It has. You wanna come? Pieces of chicken. Yeah, I'll go. Let's go. That's All what right. I'll order. That's what All I'm right. gonna order. So let's uh, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Quote. Quote of the day is, uh, it's hot outside, so stay cool. Stay cool, I know. You're pretty cool. Well, stay warm. Stay warm? <laughs> Dude, it's hot outside. So stay warm, it's stay better warm. than hot. <laughs> I don't know. It don't matter. Anyways, you guys have a good night. <laughs>